Hi, and welcome to something a little bit different. So, I was doing some thinking the other day, after a friend of mine uh, did some streaming. I'll put a link to her Twitch down in the description. Yeah, and, and it occurred to me that on YouTube, my favourite content to watch is Let's Plays. And I like games, so why not give it a go? So today we're playing a game called Arcade Spirit, and I know nothing about this game besides like the basic concept that it's like a, a narrative dialogue choices kind of thing. I'm going in totally blind, so it just looks interesting. So let's give it a go. The budgies are going to be loud. I have bribed them with treats. It doesn't work. Let's get going. Ooh. Database system online. New profile detected. Analyzing. Analyzing. New profile number 237771. Economic bracket. Lower middle. Accurate. <laughs> Employment category. Bleak. Also accurate. Current emotional health rating. Uh, okay, I wanted a cute little game about like an arcade and video games and stuff. I, I'm not here for being called out. Ideal candidate for premium level assistance. Proceed. Negative. Premium level assistance re requested. Proceed. Negative. Could you please? Negative. Overriding denial of assistance. Establishing premium services for profile number 237771. Justification? Hope. Hope should be rewarded. Spirit must be restored. Now compiling personal metadata. Ah, here we go. So, my name. If I can. Ooh, here we go. Is Louise. And we'll go with CM. Just for that. Pronoun. I like that. I do actually use a neo pronoun as well. I use Z, Zen, but it's spelled with an X. But she is also good. Hairstyle. Ooh. Nah. I mean, I think that's pretty accurate. Skin tone. Like. That one? Yeah, like, not the palest of the paley pale, but still very much pale and like neutralish. Hair colour? Mm. Mm. That one. Eye colour? I have quite green eyes. Maybe like. Yeah, that one. Clothing colour? Ooh. Let's go with a fuller version. Let's go for like a. I tend to go for like a purple version of pink. Okay, done everything. Yep, that's correct. That's me. Yep. Premium level assistance for profile number 23771, Louise CM, has been activated. For the sake of her hopes and dreams. I do like getting support for my hopes and dreams. The following is a work of fiction. All references to trademarked classic arcade game titles are used under nominative fair use. Oh, okay. Basically, that's the don't sue us message. Winners don't use drugs. I already love the music in this game. Level 1. Put your quarter up. I'm assuming I'm like an expat to the US or something rather than having like a quarter of an orange or something I'm supposed to put up. Anyway, 
It is the future year 20XX, a dark era in which mankind is pushed to the brink of catastrophe. Oh dear. Woe be to the human race, plagued by evil, plagued by evil, terrifying, utterly sinister, uh, I don't know, robots maybe? Evil robots? How does that work? Yeah, no, sorry. The future year 20XX is pretty much what you'd expect it to be. Non-flying cars, smartphones, pro-gamer celebs, internet trolls, personal assistant AI, cheese flavoured snack food. But even with such wonders as 20XX holds, to date I've had no part in any of them. I've worked as a dishwasher, a shoe salesperson, and lifeguard for the local community pool. I don't care what era of human history you live in, kiddies peeing in the pool is pretty much a constant thing. I can see that. <laughs> As for the bustling metropolis of 24 hour neon utopia you see here, my little corner of it isn't nearly as shiny and cool. Let me show you. Behold, my quaint little apartment. Okay, I am a fan of Penguin, definitely. Can't complain really, it's paradise in a relative sense. Only pay half the rent, neighbourhood stabbings have been down this year. You must hear it. Also, my roomie picks up any stray socks or shirts I leave lying around. Is the roomie going to be like a cat or something? No, because... I mean, unless that's a very well-employed cat in order to <laughs> pay half the rent. In fact, if things go, I'm living large compared to most of my family tree. At least I was, for today. You got fired from another job? Okay, Juniper, I could do without the judgement. Seriously? Seriously? That's three jobs since we left the suburbs. I'm trying my best. The horrified looking young woman there would be my roommate and childhood friend Juniper. Juniper's the one who spearheaded this effort to co-rent this apartment. She's also the one who encourages me whenever I lose a job. Like, you know, today. I don't get why you aren't more upset about this. I'm upset. I'm upset on your behalf. Come on, share the load a little, okay? Pool's closed, Juniper. Not much I can do about that. I get upset. Because you actually enjoyed that job! Why didn't you enjoy dishwashing stuff and smelly socks at the very least? I'm not the complaining sort, these things just happen. Things fall apart. The centre does not hold. That's a bit morbidly poetic, isn't it? No, oh, I mean the community centre literally fell apart and the pool won't hold water anymore. I mean, I can understand maybe why they're letting staff go if that's the case. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just getting another job. Any job will do as long as we can make the rent, right? Wrong! I saw how multi and tired you were coming home every night from those other crappy jobs. Aw, supported friend. At least when you got back from the pool each day, I sometimes caught you smiling. What's the point of us moving away from home if not to get away from all of... all of that? I mean... We both left that town so we could try to find happiness, right? That sounds like a noble goal. I just want us to be happy. Both of us. I like Juniper. I thought you hated your job. Come on! <laughs> no reflecting! This is about you! My mind's made up. We're gonna find you a job that's just as good, if not better, than the lifeguarding job. Let's start from the top. What's your dream? Well, I'm standing in front of the class to give a speech, and I forgot to put on my trousers, and your dream job! I don't know, Juniper. I've never really given it any serious thought. I've got it! I think I've got just the thing to help you out. Juniper pulls out her phone, rapidly tapping an unlock code onto the glass before pointing out a little pink icon. It's a virtual life coach app! Mine keeps me from being late to meeting. Totally free, too. My cousin introduced it to me. Wasn't he the guy who ended up in the ER after making a homemade flamethrower? It would have worked if he got the fuel mixture during his water gun, right? That's a rather large if. And 
you don't. Flamethrowers are dangerous for more than just being flamethrowers. Like, I'm sure we've all heard about the stories where you like light a can of hairspray and it goes back and explodes the whole can. Anyway, I'm selling the car to you now. I got a pop up an hour ago offering me 500 points just for recommending it to a friend. Great timing, huh? Okay. I'm not sure I love the idea of an AI personal assistant, but we'll go with it for now, Juniper. Well, as long as you don't have any points, I guess. At least give it a try, okay? Maybe it can point you at some good jobs, ones with less sucks and or urine. <sighs> I'll think about it. Okay, okay, don't, don't think too long, right? In the end, I installed the app. Didn't dare to see you for anything like that. Not that I find it annoying. I mean, it's more that she has enough trouble in her life without troubling herself over my life, too. Both of us had it rough, busted and through the point where we left home to try and start a new life. A better one. She deserves better than me and my problems. Ooh. This version of Louise needs to get a little bit of a self-worth and understand that support is mutual and that's okay. Bless her heart. She means well. She's been firmly in my corner all my life. The two of us against any dark forces aligning against me. But that's not to say she's good at being my advocate. Enthusiastic, yes, but... Nope. Typically, the fantastic opportunities and self-help resources she sends my way are pyramid schemes or something. She's gung-ho about leaving me a helping hand, but... yeah. Okay, I'm feeling more and more doubtful about this app. It's like AI and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So the main reason I went ahead and installed the app was to make sure Juniper wasn't about to get her kidneys sold in the black market or something. Apparently this version of Louise is a good friend. <laughs> Looking out for your kidneys. Still, no sense messing around with it now. Good night's rest with that. You'll meet the little emotional reset button, right? This game is already a little bit uncomfortably relatable. Right. No dreams, no nightmares. Just eight hours of sweet. Black. Getting eight hours of sleep at least. By the time morning light leaked soon through the cracks in the blinds, I didn't care anymore about being unemployed again. Juniper had already left to catch a bus to her office. She typically leaves before dawn, but she'd left a note for me, pinned to the tiny fridge we shared. Remember, download app, find dream job, make money, sort your life out. I believe in you. So I'm gonna drift. Do I trust in Juniper's weird little app, or just go find some job that pays well enough to cover the bills? Ooh. Now in real life, I'd be very wary of that. But I think... No, don't I'm wary of that. Truth, I could just call up the classifieds on my phone, but there's nothing more I can say. My family's had bad luck chasing down dreams, but I know they're definitely going to do the same. Although, that would just be a bit more complicated. Okay, I think we're being steered a little bit here. So, let's believe in hope and take a risk, which, in fairness, when you phrase it like that, figuring at the very least a miracle app could possibly help me find a job, I load it up, tap the icon, and. Hello! Hello, Iris. Huh. Okay, see, that's what I mean. Anybody else would freak out over a cute girl climbing out of their phone. Me, I went, huh. Also, it's one of those new kind of 3D things, so, you know, not actually my tutorial, isn't it? Very normal in the distant future year 28 best. Thank you for downloading Iris, your personal life coach. You're most welcome. Hello, Iris. This is the ad-supported free version, sponsored by Pizza Yums. I do like pizza. Did you know that when you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime? Very true. And actually, you know, if you have like toasty or something, and you put like 
put oregano in your tofu and it will taste too silly. You can go like tomato if you want, but I actually find that the oregano does it fine. Wow. Would you like to subscribe to Pizza Facts? I think I know enough about Pizza Facts, Iris. Thank you for subscribing to Pizza Facts. <laughs> Of course. But I'm here to help you get your dream job, your dream house, and your dream partner. I'm here to make all your dreams come true. Okay, I love it when you did it. Make all my dreams come true, that's nice. Pretty tall order for an app to do. Or are you some sort of wish granting genie? Hmm. Well, I suppose in the modern parlance. A magically interconnected database searching virtual systems could be considered the kind of genie in a bottle. But honestly, all I do you all I can do is give you the chance to improve your life. What you do with it is up to you. I can cross reference search data for you, but without motivation, you won't get anywhere. I glanced up from my phone at the piece of laundry and half finished books and other items strewn about my apartment. That's actually something I've a ton of on it. Hooray! That's super! I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Sure. Why should I use this app at all? I mean, my phone already had a voice activated assistant AI. I can just say, hey phone, search the web for job listings, and it works just as well. Ah, but I have an advanced emotional language interpreter. I'm smarter than the average program with more heart. I can help you sort your life out by analyzing your personality and finding you a perfect path in life. All thanks to my glorious, wondrous, pat pending super duper identity identifier system. Between you and me, they really wanted an acronym that matched my name, but couldn't figure out what to do with the letter R. Would you like to know more? Sure, give me the sales tip. Every time you think about saying something, I can tag it with an identity. That way you can be the sort of person you want to be. So it's kind of like a filter almost, it's just sort of like, just a chance to say, ooh, hang on a minute, is this a bit bitchy for me to say? Is this a bit eager for me to say? Is this a bit uh, pessimistic for me to say? It's just, <laughs> it's a think before you speak system. This system allows me to better understand who you are and what you need from life. I do this by analyzing your tone, inflection, and work choice. I can spot five different identity, identity identifiers in your responses to people. Quirky, steady, kindly, dusty, and basically. Sounds to me like your program has also wanted a bunch of things under the eye. That's correct! My branding game is on point. Quirky responses use jokes, snarks, and sarcasm to make light of the situation. Just the thing for picking up someone's spirits, but a thousand times jokes may not win over the room. Steady responses are sincere, honest, and logical. When you stop and think before speaking, you're on steady ground. But that might not take someone's feelings into account. Kindly responses are compassionate and empathetic, and gentle in nature. They're careful with the feelings of others, but... They're sometimes a bit wishy-washy as a result. Gutsy responses go with your gut. When you're brash, bold, risk-taking, and instinctive, you're gutsy. Uh, but it also means being blunt, confrontational, and aggressive, so be careful. Lastly, you can always take a basic food option. It's a balanced and neutral response, safely moving the conversation along while learning more and digging deeper. I feel like in real life that probably me. Like it's quite... I try to be quite balanced between like the logical stuff and being like, yeah, but but I know how you feel, you know. Hmm. Over time, I'll build up an I I'll build up a personality profile for you based on the identity ident Oh based on the identity identifiers detected in your speech. Maybe you'll be predominantly quirky, genuinely steady, and it's above, who knows? It's up to you. So what you're saying is I should try to I should always try to crack jokes or be super gutsy. I oh, would never speak basically. I mean, being basic is bad, right? Sounds bad. Mm, nope. Heck no. They're all useful in the right context. There are no bad choices. 
Not you. No. <laughs> Consider what you just say and go what feels right in the moment. Don't limit yourself. Sure, you could gamify your personality, but it's more fun to let it happen naturally, you know? Just be you. Aw, just be you. I like that. Now, let's see my patent pending. Identity identifier system in action. How do you feel about bad jokes? <laughs> Hi, jokes. I'm dad. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Look, I like a pun. I like a joke that gets a groan on occasion. Hey, I never said I was good at dad jokes, just that I could go for them. So now that you've seen the identity indicators in action, do you want to see the indicators like that so you can make an informed decision? Ooh. If not, I can hide the indicators to keep the surprise. That way, it doesn't influence your decision making. It's up to you! I think I'm gonna hide the indicators, because I want to try and get a nice... I want to go, like, instinctively and, you know, make this character sort of, like, reflect what I feel I would actually do without worrying about so many of the, like, consequences. I might regret this. <laughs> so mysterious! Okay, I'll hide them from you. You'll always be always be able to spot basic responses, though. Anyway, as we go along, I'll analyze and tally your identity identifier. In fact, let me show you now. Good work. Would you look at that? Such a strong personality. You asked me a single question. Off to a great start, I'd say. And hang on, just scoring me? Did you say not to gain upon my personality? Hey, I said you shouldn't. I'm an app, I think in numbers, so I gotta gamify it a little. Anyway, does it show that achievements or chivos, as the kids say? Chivos! Encourage app engagement. Okay, well, what could you actually say from the left? I'll be doing that. Oh, I also check vocal responses from people you meet. Once you get to know some folks, I'll let you know how well you're getting along with them over there. I think I was just said I have no friends. Relationship scores. Wonderful. So will you also tell me what the correct responses are to avoid making enemies, or do I need to go find a walkthrough for the vast game you're making of my daily life? <laughs> Let's lean on the fourth wall a little here, shall we? Uh... Louise, Louise, you're looking at this the wrong way. Generally, people won't get super annoyed at you unless you deliberately and repeatedly provoke them. And it'll be obvious when you do that. Okay, I do like that this little tutorial is sort of like, sort of like, that's crazy, you know. The actor game who has maybe made a, a couple of bad choices in narrative uh, choice games before. <laughs> I promise you that if you bungle a few social encounters, it won't really hurt anything. No shooting needed. Just relax and have fun. You can access your score card anytime you like with the key key. Or click on the score in the upper right corner of your screen. And that's everything. Ta-da! Okay. But how is any of that supposed to help me get a job? Hmm? I only downloaded this app because my really claims to a great life coach for the unemployed. What good will taking the quiz off the back of a supermarket checkout rack magazine do with that? Why, it'll help me understand your spirit, of course. You can talk to a ghost? Is there a ghost in the room right now? Am I a ghost? You have to tell me if I'm a ghost, that's the rule. No, silly. I mean your spirit. Your hopes and dreams. Your life's passions. I can even help you find romance. An arrow. Romance? Seriously? Seriously? Often you can find your soulmate and your dream job in the same place. But if you'd rather focus on gainful employment for now, that's fine too. Let's play anything. Well, that's a recipe for disaster. And still on co-work is right from day one can be kind of awkward. Or am I looking for love and ready to start right out of the gate? Never get a second job to make your first impression. If I meet the right person, why put it off? I don't handle this new opportunity. Oh. 
So I'm ready to cross those with me now. We're not with blood this time. Let's be safe because I'm very unsafe and safe. Run for that blood and safe and safe. I'm just not interested in the romance side. No romance, just friendship. Ooh. I am a romantic. Yeah, I don't think that this thing would be going down a route where you could sort of like make a partnership sort of like more platonic or like which do so will go for. I'm just not interested in going that way. Yeah, that's not really my priority. I'd rather you not try to match me with anyone now or in the future. Is that okay? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. You made it. You will notice for your personal metadata. And besides, it's not like you won't be building friendships and social connections. I'm plenty of hope on that front, I promise you. Okay, sounds good. Now, let's get started. The finish analyzing your personal history, please authorize me to read your social media feeds and personal information metadata. <laughs> I knew it. This is some kind of scam. I'm gonna wake up in the box and like Mission's kidney. Oh, I traded my kidney for beautiful kidney. Sure, I can help you register as an organ donor. Bad command or file name? Oh, you were being sarcastic. Sorry, I haven't quite finished analyzing your personality. I couldn't tell. Oh, I'm autistic, so she's kind of wouldn't actually talk there. Sarcasm means sometimes people can't tell, with me. Relax, I won't share your information with any third party. This is tricky, so I can find your dreams out. Am I authorized? If you've got no third party sharing, that's like more privacy than a lot of things that <laughs> 2021 technology can do. I have another wonderful Juniper recommendation here. Just like the 17 self help books on my shelf, still. 18th time for charm, right? Yeah, go ahead. Please enjoy this recorded music. I do enjoy that recording music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. I've identified your dream job and arranged an interview 30 minutes from now. Get ready quick. Please put on some nice clothes. Nicer than those. Please. I don't think that's too much to ask. What? Do you interview, silly? You want to look your best. But just that. Uh, okay, how did you let my dream job into some such flat? Simple. I'm awesome like that. Now get a move on, tuck tuck. You need to catch the 8.20 a.m. bus, and that's nine minutes away. Ugh, what am I doing up before 9 a.m.? Well, this is happening. But I do have a chance to get off this runaway train. Nobody feels like I have to get it in my new jeans shop, where is Godmother? I can delete the app and go find a real job, that'd be the safest option. Good. Hey, a job interview is a job interview. It's the place to get the old loop. A normal person, someone with high standards, would have deleted the app right there rather than hop the bus to meet up with what were very likely men with sharp knives and a case of kidney. Again, if you get to the place and it looks like a shithole, I'll just keep riding the bus and be like, nah, bye. But me? I was already getting dressed before she finished that sentence. Not that I believe the silly act claims that serving my hopes and dreams on a silver platter. Honestly, I expected another shoe shop job at best. But, well, ooh, first choice. Like, proper one. What the hell, let's do this. Juniper's right. I need to get my life in gear, so what's the harm in diving into something this wacky? Okay, there can be a lot of harm granted, but the alternative is to move around our apartment for weeks, then you guys go get a job anyway. So I thought, screw it, I'm in on this runaway train. Let's see how far it goes. And as I came to realise weeks later, it turns out that was the best impulsive decision I've ever made. I do like a little bit of impulsivity now and then. Okay, and there we go. I think we'll leave it there for now. How exciting. Oh. So, if you've enjoyed this, please do let me know.
by you know leaving your feedback below thumbs up if you enjoyed it i personally am really enjoying this so far i'm probably going to record another episode right, right now actually i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you next time